We begin tonight by remembering a local legend and pillar of Lexington's broadcasting community. Sue Wiley died following a car crash yesterday evening at 90 years old. Tonight, Bodie Brooks tells her story. She had a bizarre sense of humor. She had over 200 pairs of shoes. Uh, somebody said this morning that she was the Barbara Walters of Lexington only better. With a career spanning back to the 1950s, Sue Wiley was a force to be reckoned with on the airwaves. Her radio colleague, WVLK's Jack Patty, had her on his show just days ago. She lit every phone line up that we had, same as she did when she did her own show. Patty says Wiley was never one to shy away from confrontation. In 1968, she was hired down the street at NBC affiliate WLEX, becoming Kentucky's first woman to anchor a daily newscast. For 30 years, she graced the TV airwaves, inspiring others to follow her lead. A college-aged Deanne Stevens first met her by chance in jazzercise class. I saw this woman that looked really familiar, and all of a sudden I'm like, that is Sue Wiley. And so I went up and introduced myself after class. I told her I wanted her job someday, and she could not have been any nicer. She had a talent to cover politics and community affairs in a way that connected with people, even if they disagreed. Her stint on the radio airwaves continued after her TV retirement before putting down the mic in 2013. She loved people. I always said she was a hold the cat and call the dog kind of talk show host. Now, when she was on TV, it was a whole different subject. It was all about fairness and equal. And all. But when she got on radio, that all those rules were gone, and she loved to get people fired up. Patty loves the expression, nobody is dead until people stop talking about you. And for Sue Wiley, she will live on in the hearts of many forever. She was a trailblazer. She was a pioneer. She was hilarious. She was a genius. Uh, she was a friend, and I miss her. And she will never be forgotten. In Lexington, Bodie Brooks, Fox 56 News.